Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to add the ESLint config file. In the previous video, we have seen how to add the ESLint plugin. We have seen with an example that of adding something like ESLint plugin, promise plugin. We have we have seen that how to add this ESLint plugin, promise plugin, and also we have added the custom rule that is available in this ESLint plugin. Now in this video, we will try to see how to add the ESLint config file that has that is already available in the market that is shareable. Now, if you try to see in the in here, if you want to search for a ESLint plugin, means you will search something like ESLint plugin hyphen something like that. And we have added this uh, what I can say uh, this promise plugin. Okay, we can use the same thing, so one and the same thing, all the things will be one and the same like that only. Now, we need to add ESLint config file. Now, you need to understand the difference between this plugin and the config config file is nothing but it is it provides us the javascript object notation rules it will be having some set of uh, recommended rules and all those things that that are added in this config file and we can make use of this one now we are using this shareable file something like that is the is the eslint recommended other than the eslint recommended most of the companies what they will be using is they will be using the eslint config airbnb okay they will be using this airbnb if i try to open this airbnb let's try to see this package provides AS, Airbnb's ESLint config as, as extensible shared config. Okay, this is the config extensible. So that means we need to use it in the extents. Now here it is telling that we export three ESLint configuration for your usage. So it is telling that uh, ESLint and it react. Okay, so react also it requires ESLint plugin and react. So now if you are importing this config Airbnb means so that means when you are using this react JS plugin and all those things so we can use this eslint config airbnb but right now we are not using uh, what i can say this react and all those things we are using normal plain javascript thing now if i want to add this plain javascript uh, means what i can do here let's go and here you'll be able to see yes es eslint air config base this is this is deprecated if you want to use the base means please see this eslint config airbnb base it is saying okay let's try to open this one this is the base base means base javascript okay it doesn't have any vue.js or react.js angular all, all those things this package provides airbnb base js ERC without react plugins and all those things as extensible shared config so it doesn't contain any react plugins or anything so that means if you are having a plain javascript or anything and you want to use you want to include this uh, most popular airbnb style get means you can use this airbnb base or otherwise if you are having react or anything means you can use airbnb directly and here if you do if you try to see how to install this airbnb base you will be able to see something like uh, if you are using npm 5 plus means use this shortcut okay fine let's try to copy this one and let's try to paste it here okay why this is not pasted I copied or what okay let's say i'm trying to copy it again and here yeah now let's try to press enter now this will install some basic dependencies what are the things necessary for this airbnb if you go here and if you try to see this is it is saying that if it is having npm 5 plus okay and if you are having npm less than 5 means uh, they are telling to copy this file copy this uh, command and paste this command they are saying and which produces produces a command like this it is they are saying so they are having some script code and it is producing like this they are saying okay we are having greater than 5 right so 5 plus we are using this command let's see let it install so i think hopefully this one is installed okay it is trying to install <coughs> let it install now it has been installed successfully now if you try to see the config and everything airbnb base everything is successfully installed now what we can try to see here let's try to see the code what it is having now these are the things is completed and it is trying that we have used the command okay we have installed now add extends airbnb base now it is they are telling that to your eslint rc instead of using this uh, eslint recommended they are telling to add airbnb base okay let's try to copy this one and let's go to the eslint rc and here we can use this airbnb base instead of what i can say eslint recommended now this is the most uh, recommended one so this contains all the configurations some more configurations than the eslint recommended now it will uh, it will have the extended rules here okay fine we have imported now let's try to run here now if i try to run npm run lint let's try to see uh, if i try to see yeah it's try it is trying to run let's see what could be the errors you will get so we 
we got something environment key yes 2021 is unknown what is the thing so here it is saying that yes 2021 is unknown i think the okay yes lint actually we need to install something like 7.28.0 this config airbnb base has reset it to 7.2 something 7.2.0 so let's uh, install it again npm install okay now i am doing the npm install again so that the latest version of ESLint will be installed actually this uh, what i can say yeah here it has happened so when we are trying to install ESLint at the rate 7.2.0 has been installed if you don't want to miss you can directly make it uh, instead of es 2021 you can change it to es6 here you can write it es6 then it will work automatically okay now if i see let's try to install it is trying to install some of the files <coughs> let it install it has been installed now let's try to run the lint again so now let's try to run, run the lint again using this airbnb base and also es2021 ecmascript 12 we are using instead of 6 okay fine it's not a problem so if you want to change it to 6 you can change it but you need to remember that uh, we are using the version latest version it depends so now let's try to run this npm run lint it is trying with the airbnb base Oh, so many errors we got it right now. So you are able to see so many errors we got it. ESLint recommended we didn't get any error. What is the thing it is trying to say? Expected line breaks to be something something and it is telling expected line breaks to be. Okay, these are the common thing. And here you will be able to see unexpected where use letter constancy. This is coming from the, what I can say, Airbnb. And more than one blank line and not allowed. Mul no multiple empty lines. No one blank line not allowed. More than one blank line not allowed. And here more multiple spaces found between triple equal to. See these are all errors. These are expected expect, exception blocks. Space or tab after slash slash in comment. Space or comment. They are saying these are all padded blocks. In block must not be padded by blank lines. See how nicely they are giving some some extra extra. What we can say is the Airbnb base is giving some extra configuration rules that are not available in the ESLint recommended. Now these all the things, one good thing is these all the things, for example, we got 59 problems extra and we one good thing is these all 59 errors can be can be potentially fixable using this hyphen hyphen fix they are saying. Let's try to fix it. npm run lint hyphen fix. Okay. Now I am fixing. Let's try to fix it. Everything. So if I try to fix, everything will be fixed. So every company will be having their own set of configuration files one thing now most commonly what they will be using is airbnb so this airbnb is the most popular style guide this will be used in the common companies and uh, some other configurable shareable configuration also will be there so uh, those things also we can use it now see all the things are fixed now if i try to run the lint again nothing will be there if you try to go here and if you try to see main.js and everything and you will be having in the fruits.js something here You'll be able to see see this one has shifted to constant previously i used to keep where or let or something like that and uh, these are the things so so many things has been changed actually get payments these all after the ha after the slash it should be having one gap and so many things has been fixed actually so one thing i can say like that now if i try to see yeah so everything is solved now we are using we have imported the config file from the npm js package that is airbnb base that is the most popular style gate and we have extended it here airbnb base and we have make, made use of this airbnb okay hope you understood about this one so this is the most common thing you will be able to see there about this airbnb so this is how we will be using this airbnb base in the normal eslin project hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also please do follow my facebook page lila webdev it is provided in the description. Thank you.